suppose what together we'll find with every pair of shoes that we try we'll have a new adventure you and i where will my feet take me today nobody knows for sure My puzzle, Grandpa. Are you almost finished your sandals? Not quite, Franny, but a little break wouldn't hurt. Okie doke. What do you want to do? I took a book out of the library yesterday. <gasps> Why don't we look at it together? Is it in your book bag? Can I get it? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what I'll learn about today. <laughs> Snakes? You usually like learning about animals, and snakes are animals. I don't want to read about them. Let's do something else. Are you sure? Snakes are pretty interesting once you get to know a little about them. Snakes are yucky. Blech. A customer! And what can we do for you? My battered boots need fixing up. I'm going spelunking next week. We'll have your spelunking boots looking splendid in no time. Grandpa, what's spelunking? Spelunking is what spelunkers do. Explore deep, dark caves. Wow, I didn't know that. You do now. Off to the fix-it box they go. Where will my feet take me today? Where am I? Great spunky spelunkers! I'm in a cave! <gasps> Hello? Hello? Oh, an echo! An echo? No, it's me! Ah! Ah! You're a bat! And you're a little girl! I'm Barty. Who are you? Franny, but please stay away. I'm scared of bats. Really? I can't believe anyone would be afraid of me. Well, I am. Bats are scary. I'm afraid they'll fly around and get tangled in my hair. <laughs> bats don't do that, Franny. So bats aren't scary? Not once you get to know us. Bats are small and harmless and only come out after dark. Well, most of us anyway. <laughs> I'm afraid of the night. Then what are you doing in this dark cave? I feel nice and safe in my small, cozy cave. But not so safe outside of it. <laughs> the night's very big and very spooky. And I'm just a little scaredy bat. What if we went outside together? Really? Well, but I thought you were afraid of me. Not since I got to know you better. You're more sweet than scary. Maybe the night won't feel so spooky once you get to know it. Come on, Barty, follow me. <gasps> Wait up, Franny! Those sure are weird noises. I told you it's spooky out here. And big. And dark. Shimmering shoelaces. The moon is really bright. And beautiful. Barty, look behind you. Ah! Ah, Franny! What was that? <laughs> It was your own shadow, silly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought it was something sneaking up on me. The night is big, but not as dark as I thought it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What are you doing? I'm catching bugs for my supper. <laughs> there are lots more out here than in my little cave. Bats eat bugs? I didn't know that. <gasps> hey, who, who turned out the light? It's just a cloud covering the moon, Barty. It isn't always bright at night, but that doesn't mean it has to be scary. <gasps> Quick, hide! Who am I? Can you guess? I think I know who he is. What about you, Barney? Um, another bat? <laughs> no, he's a hoot owl. That's who. You've got it. I'm Hoobert. Who are you? My name is Franny, and that's Barty. Shh. I think your friend's trying to sleep. He is? He's hanging upside down. That's how bats sleep. They do? I didn't know that. I wasn't sleeping. I was hiding. Barty is afraid of the night. Afraid? But being out at night is the best. It's a real hoot. <laughs> a real hoot. Uh, oh, I get it. Hoot. <laughs> you are pretty funny. Thanks. Toodle hoo. Toodle hoo. He was very nice, wasn't he? Yes. Can I go back to my nice cozy cave now? <gasps> what was that? I don't know! But it sounds big and scary. What should we do? The best way to find out what's making a noise is to follow it. <laughs> follow it? <gasps> hey, hey, wait for me! I see is that little frog. The frog made that noise? <laughs> he sounded big and scary, but he's really just small and green. Then why was I so scared? There is nothing to be afraid of. Let's go! afraid of me again, are you? No, you just startled me. But why did you zoom at me like that? Because when I flew in there, a big night monster jumped out at me and I got all scared and I needed a hug. Next time, all you have to do is ask for one. Okay, could I have that hug now, please? Absolutely. There, is that better? Yes, thanks. But, well, what about the m monster? Let's go have a look. <laughs> Is that your night monster, Barty? I think so. But it's really just an old tree, huh? The shadows made it look like it had spooky eyes and a mouth. And those branches look like big, scary hands. I know. I thought they were trying to grab me. I guess things seem bad or scary until you find out more about them. I thought bats were scary until I got to know you. And the night sure is different than I thought. It's really kind of a hoot. <laughs> I have to go now, Barty. Will you be okay by yourself? Oh, yes. Toodle hoo. <laughs> Toodle hoo. That was a hoot! <laughs> I know who this belongs to.
another treasure for my shoebox. Grandpa, could we still look at this snake book together? Why, of course. But I thought snakes were yucky. Maybe they aren't. I thought bats were scary, but after meeting Barty, I know that isn't true. Barty? He's a little bat. Did you know he eats bugs at night, sleeps upside down all day, and he's more sweet than scary? I didn't know that. You do now. <laughs> well then, let's go to our reading chair and learn about snakes too, okie doke. Okie doke. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? It's not here. It's not there. Hmm. And it's not here either. I can't find my uniform anywhere, Grandpa. I guess I can't play soccer today. Hmm. Did you look in your knapsack? No. Hmm. Oh, well, here is your uniform, Franny. Now you can go play soccer. Oh, Grandpa, do I have to? Franny, it will be lots of fun. But I don't know how to play soccer. All you need is a lesson. Your coach will teach you. You'll learn how to run and kick the ball, and next thing you know, you'll be playing soccer. I don't know. A customer! What can I do for you on this frosty, cold day? <sighs> I just come back from the North Pole and my lucky mucklucks are leaking. No problem. I'll oil up your mucklucks till they're as waterproof as a duck. Franny, please tuck these mucklucks in the fix-it box. Right away, Grandpa. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? Franny, what's yours? My name is Piper. Pleased to meet you, Piper. I'm sorry I bumped into you. That's okay. I love bumping into friends. Whee! Here comes another one. Hello, Cecil. Hello, Piper. Today is the day. Um, yes. Today's the day. Oh, Cecil, have you met my new friend, Franny? Hello, Franny. <laughs> Hello, Cecil. Your whiskers sure are ticklish. I hope you brought your bathing suit, Franny, because today is the day Piper and I are going swimming. Aren't we, Piper? Aren't we? Oh, oh, oh! Um, I, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I forgot my bathing suit. That's all right, Franny. Cecil and I can swim anytime. Hey, why don't we play tag? Fantastic! I'll be it. Okay! okay. Here I come! You can't catch me! Whoa! Ooh. Oh, yes, I can! You're it! <laughs> I'm gonna get you, Cecil! Just try! <laughs> nice try, Piper. Nice try. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> Want to play again? <laughs> Let's play something else. All that running made me hot. I know the perfect thing to cool us down. Swimming! Oh, um, actually, I'm not that hot. I know. Let's play ball. Here, Franny, catch! 
Fantabulous! Here you go, Cecil. Thanks, Franny. Catch, Piper. I've got it. Oh! Uh-oh. What's the matter, Piper? The ball fell in the water and I can't reach it. Why don't you just jump into the water and swim to it? Um, well, I have a better idea. There! I got the ball! Ta-da! That was smart thinking, Piper. Thanks, Franny. It would have been easier just to jump in and grab the ball. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were afraid to swim. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Panicking polar bears. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Maybe Piper is scared. What? Who ever heard of a polar bear who's afraid of swimming? It's true. I am afraid of swimming. Oh. It's okay to be scared, Piper. It's like my grandpa told me. All you need is a lesson. Cecil and I can teach you, and the next thing you know, you'll be swimming. Oh, I don't know. Come on, Piper. Give it a try. Give it a try. Okay, I'll try. That's the spirit, Piper. That's the spirit. First, you need to learn to move your arms and kick your feet, like this. That looks pretty easy. Like this? Fantastic, Piper. Whoa! <laughs> that was fun. Now it's time to try it in the water. I'm, I'm too scared to just jump in. Hmm, I know. Why don't you sit down on the edge of the iceberg and try kicking your feet in the water? Yes, Piper. Then you can get used to it. I guess that would be okay. Now try kicking your feet. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Good, Piper. Now try jumping in. I'll count to three and then you jump, okay? One, two, three. Jump! I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm a polar bear who's afraid to swim. <gasps> oh no! Piper! Cecil! The ice is floating away! Franny! Here, Franny, grab my paw! I can't reach it, Piper! Try this! Can you reach this, Franny? Ugh. It it's too far! Don't worry, Franny! I'm coming! I'll push you back. The ice is too heavy. Piper, you have to swim. You're the only one strong enough to move the ice. Me? But, but I'm afraid to swim. You can do it, Piper. You're a polar bear. Polar bears are natural swimmers. Just remember to move your arms and kick your feet. Okay. Be brave. I can do it. Just move my arms and kick my feet. Here I come. You're doing great, Piper. Up you go, Cecil. Hooray! You did, you it, did Piper. it, Piper. I did, didn't I? Yes, you did. So, do you want to play ball again? No, thanks. Now that I know how much fun it is to swim, I may never come out of the water. That sounds good to me. Are you coming, Franny? <laughs> I'd love to, but there's something I have to do first. Goodbye, Piper. Goodbye, Cecil. Goodbye, Goodbye Franny. Franny. Bye. That was a cool adventure. <laughs> when a 
Cecil's whiskers for my treasure box. <laughs> gets my seal of approval. I'm ready to play soccer, Grandpa. But Franny, I, I thought you didn't want to play. I didn't, but then I met Piper and Cecil. Who? Piper was a polar bear who was afraid to swim. Cecil the seal and I gave him a swimming lesson, and he learned there was nothing to be afraid of. That was very nice of you. My coach will teach me how to run and kick the ball, and next thing I know... You'll be playing soccer. That's right, Grandpa. Where will my feet take me tomorrow?